Hello. Um, I just thought I'd do a quick video about this is probably the most asked question ever that I get from other videos, which is about how to do quick masking in Premiere without using After Effects or anything else and without using the pen tool. And the answer is track mats. Track mats won't work for everything, but you get a lot of shots which are really great for track mats. So here's, here's an example I found here. You just need a strong contrast. It doesn't need to be white and dark. It just needs to be a sharp enough line that you can easily make a track mat. So if we just do this quickly. So I'm just gonna press full stop to put that on my timeline. And then I'm gonna option drag and go up to this second layer and press two for effects and add, uh, what shall I add? Posterize, I guess. So there is like a million ways to do this. Here's a fast way. And this, I'm just gonna use really old effects. So even if you've got like CS5 or something like that, you can still do this. Effect controls three and turn that down to two and just scrub through. Yeah, that's pretty good already. You can see the sharp line, obviously, we need to tint it to make it black and white. And then can you see this? these white areas? Now with later versions of Premiere, you can add those back in with like alpha corrections and spill suppressants and stuff like that. But if we're gonna use old stuff, uh, a dead easy way to do, it's in my obsolete, but it won't be in yours. Let's bring up curves, good old curves. Um, it, all these effects are applied procedurally in order. So you want to drag your curves up to above the posterize and then let's just bring this down you don't need to fill in everything just just get the white out okay and now see you've got a track mat a mat in fact that you can track that's perfect no masking required now if we take this or oh, you know what we should do let's just select them both and pop them up one video track and put something underneath it. Um, uh, I don't think I want fire. I think I want. Oh. Let's put Jamie underneath. Let's put Jamie underneath there. And now go back to our second video track and add a track map. You'll use this all the time once you've got it. Now, if we go into these effects, you're going to choose video layer three which is that mat we made, right? And you're gonna choose matte luma. And there you go. Straight away, it's sorted. Um, if you wanna put some detail back, some feature detail, um, option drag over and above, turn off your track mat, turn that to something like, I guess, color dodge. And just to stop fucking the colors up um, too much, just desaturate that, always just desaturate any detail layer a little bit. Say 35%, yeah. Um, and then, you know, have a look at what works well. Color dodge, always a good one. Probably lighten and screen are too much, probably too dark. That just looks super weird, like she's wearing a Bucky Barnes face mask. <laughs> Soft light, probably too soft color dodge is a good choice so once you've got this you realize that you can use this to blend multiple scenes right so you can reuse this track map let's maybe just get out of this big main thing let's select all of these and for nest go in to the nest it's just easier because you're not you're not getting you're not messing up your main vid then um, and let's put something on the back. So let's put some fire. Oh, yeah, I've got it here. Stannis. Do we want Stannis? Yeah, we'll, we'll want Stannis because uh, you can't hear the lyrics of the vid that I'm bidding. But Stannis will work here. Let's put Stannis on here. And take our... That's our details layer, isn't it? So this is our track map. Option drag above... Now select Sanis and add a track map. Just double click to automatically add it. Three to go. 
to the controls choosing Matt Luma. Now you've got a, a slightly awful edge. If you're using more advanced tools you'd use like a matte choker or a spill suppressant or something like that. But for us now what we'll do is we will take out that details layer so it's not so apparent. Go to the track mat that we made and now if you just move this up and down you'll see that hard edge. So let's just move that down a little bit. Yeah. Um, other things you can do is put blurs on or if you go back into the main comp you can put a blur on that whole thing. In fact probably you just want to put um, just put a quick curves over the whole thing. I'm just going to put a look on because I've got looks. Yay! Look! I've got looks! I've got looks! Um, something that just colours the whole thing together. That's probably a bit extreme, isn't it? Now, if I select V2, I can paste those de that details layer back on. Yeah, I'll probably reduce that in the looks a little bit, a little bit much. Right? And the reason I want to bring that details out is because what I'll do now is I'll just blur that whole nested file. So go to back into my editing profile, effects, we should be using this blur, and scroll down, put that on like a 5, and then just repeat edge pixel so you don't get your horrible edge. Just to, you know, make it a little bit nicer. So you can keep doing this, right? You can keep layering and adding things together. Um, obviously this is like a really extreme, like super, super bright example, just so you can see what I'm trying to show you. If you want to switch it up a bit, maybe you want to slip, press Y to slip that blue. That looks quite significantly different, right? I actually hate that. So you can start getting distinct layers um, and uh, adding in lots of other stuff. Um, let me put that on exclusion. You can get some quite interesting effects that way. Ooh, that's track maps. That's it. That's the, that's all there is to know. There's really I could go on, but there's nothing else to tell you. I did write a thing about this a couple of years ago, which I will put a link to. But that's it in video form. Okay. Goodbye.